Hello, dear Sagittarius. Okay, so this is a reading from August 30th to September 5th. Okay. Oh, well, before I begin, I showed everybody else. So I'm going to show you Sagitt Sagittarians too. <laughs> Ooh, look at my new keyboard. Isn't that cool? It's a retro keyboard and it lights up. You can actually have it doing all kinds of lighting things and, and waves and, and flickers and all that stuff if you want. Different colors. But I just really wanted the round. You know, and it's like retro, like an old-fashioned typewriter. So I said, I really enjoy this. <laughs> But I needed to get a new one because my arrow key kept on getting stuck. And then, then I would have all of a sudden I was trying to type or, or, or something like that. And all of a sudden it's going crazy and all over the place and I couldn't stop it. <laughs> so I said, okay, I guess I have to invest in a new keyboard. And I said, but I want something different. I like to be different. Okay, I just figured you might want to see that. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what happened in the past. Past energy. Let's tap into the past. So we have Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. Okay, so did you experience something with the Divine Matrix here? Hmm. <clears throat> and we have here Balance, Spirituality, and Practicality. And this is um, Full Moon in Pisces. Let me do it this way. Whoa, okay, that one pop, wanted to pop. Let's take it. So this is the fool. Oh, so there's some kind of new beginning that you experience. You know, um, the divine matrix, the galactic, galactic, sorry, the galactic mushroom. Um, I almost feel like someone had, was opened up to something new here. Something new as far as their spirituality. Can we have this, this is the fool, and then we have balanced spirituality and the and the practicality so it might be saying that you you discovered something new something to do with maybe some kind of spiritual um, awakening of some sort or else it's someone else around you that maybe you helped to awaken to an, a, um, their spirituality or or something that they're not yeah I feel like you might have woken someone to something that is very um, different for them and it, it is something about the you know out of their norm or something that's where i guess they have to sort of like come to terms with it i'm getting that for someone here i don't know let's see what's happening in the present okay present energy for sagittarius So we have gathering around the power of community. Okay, yeah. So maybe you're in a new, a new environment. Is that it, or it's a new spiritual connection? Yeah, it feels like something has shifted. Something has changed for you. And we have here. The answers you you need are coming. So, and this is the full moon in Gemini. So something that you've been waiting for or something you've been trying to decide something on or trying to get answers to something is coming. It might be coming through your new community because there's feels something about something changed, some kind of shift, something. It's, it's someone definitely awakening to something that is totally, I, you know, I feel like someone might become more spiritual and they're like, I never thought I would do this, or I never believed in this, or something. I get like that for some somebody's energy. So this is the world. Yeah, An ending of a cycle to start something new. Now, I know a lot of you guys are already spiritually awakened, but there's someone here that's coming on really intense here that all of a sudden they're realizing something or they're finding a new group or a new a new community or they moved or something here that has changed, has shifted. So let's see what the hidden influences are. So we have here deep diver diving into a task. Okay, someone might be 
this is something you don't see. So someone else might be diving into something new or um, trying to trying to uh, develop something but they're really going deep into it so we have here it's time to release negativity full moon and Scorpio so someone is working on themselves you don't see this but someone maybe they're they realize what you're doing or they're they want to I almost feel like yeah they're aware of something that you're doing and they want to be more like that or they want to tap into that um, so they might be doing something on their own so we have here the nine of bones so this yeah that's what I'm saying they're a, a very independent energy nine of bones and nine of pentacles yeah someone it might be I think they're doing something here to develop their their connection with you if that makes any sense these these readings almost feel like they're sort of um there's like a lot of hidden hidden messages but i know I, like i feel i'm the i'm the reader i'm just the the messenger so i'm telling you guys something but i think i'll be telling you something and i'm totally confused about what it means but you're gonna know exactly what it means that's the energy i'm feeling like this is your reading and at the end of this i'm not doing the signs or the letters because it's totally about you that's what my guys wanted me to do so just so you know at the end i'm not doing the signs or the letters for the initials so let's see here about your energy So we have here my talks it's repairing the body mind and spirit you're, you're going through some kind of major change or shift here it felt like it started with whatever that happened here in the past it's some kind of um, awakening of some sort that made you more aware of something whoever this is for and now there's like a detox going on and it's happening through spirit through the divine this might also be happening something that is being done to you by spirit while you're sleeping and you're not even aware of it. It's like you're going through a, a transformation, a, some kind of change here. So we have here, believe in the impossible. Nice. You're achieving something big. They're, they're preparing you for something big. And then we have the Four of Bones. So this is like a Four of Pentacles. I think if you're feeling stuff, you know, you're probably keeping it to yourself. That's the energy I'm getting, that you're going through some kind of shift, some kind of change. You're like, well, this is weird. I'm feeling this weird stuff. You might be getting weird dreams, weird things happening, and you're keeping it quiet, which is probably a good thing. You don't want anybody interfering, because this is a good thing that's happening here. Now, let's see about the influence of others so we have heart home this is um compassion so there's a lot of compassion come from others. And this card we want to come out too, so I want to see what it is. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. So there's people around. I almost feel like you have a group around you that is protecting you as you go through this transformation. It might be your spirit guides. Um, I mean, I'm, we're talking about um, the influence of others, but I feel like it's more spiritual. It feels like you're going through a major shift, a major change here. So let's see. Okay, now we need this card. Got two of those. I need one of these, hopefully. And we have here, show the world the real you. Okay. I think someone's preparing you to come out somehow. Whatever that may mean. This 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 almost feels like there's a spiritual awakening, a coming out um, of the... Like you're walking out... I don't know... You're like walking out of the old self into a new new being a spiritual 
I guess you're like the dragonfly. You're you're shifting. You're changing. And so we have here. Oh, now we have the lovers. This also could be someone that is helping you here. That is a lover. That is a strong connection. Um, Gemini energy. It also could be um, a choice card here to make this change. You have a you're you're choosing to make a change, but it's a spiritual, very strong spiritual connection. Okay, so what should you do? Yeah, since you're going through this major shift, this major change, what should you do? You might be feeling tired this coming week because of all this energy that is um, that you're going through. This transition is taking a lot of energy. But when you shift like that, it does make you tired. Oh, we have here. This is repairing, repair, repairing the veil. Is that what it is? Repairing the veil. So this is forgiveness. So as you're going through this change, this shift, what you need to do is to forgive those who who done you wrong or those who who misunderstood you or something here there's something about you got to repair the veil or because they did they do not know you're going through a change you're going through a spiritual shift awakening and they're not they're not going through that they're whoever's around you that maybe you have to forgive they're not as as advanced soul as you so they don't understand it and they won't understand it it's not their mission okay let's see so you should you need to try to forgive and then we have here the luck is on your side new moon and Sagittarius Ooh. okay so now let's see what else we get here yeah there's a major like there's like a shedding of something here you're leaving something behind. You're not going to be the same. And it feels like you're going to actually feel this energy this coming week. You might be really tired. So we have here. Yeah, this is the Eight of Candles. This is some kind of movement here. There's some kind of um, sh something happening. There's like back and forth energies happening around you. So it's like um, there might be discussions. So if you're going to have discussions about something in the, in the coming week here. Um, just remember to to look to have forgiveness in your heart by what is being said because it's, they do not know. Whoever you're dealing with, they do not know. They're not as awakened as you. So they don't understand this. Okay, let's see about the possible outcome. So we have here eye of the needle so this is something being this is intentionality so it's you're being intentional this is like you know how you try to get through the eye of the needle this is exact you might feel like you're being pulled through the eye of a needle because you're going look at the bright light around this there's some kind of major shift change here and then we have here deep quiet meditation and stillness so what you don't see coming is there's going to be a time that you're going to feel like you need to be quiet need to need some time to yourself because you're going through this shift this change it's big it's major okay let's see what else we have I feel like i feel like i'm crooked here and i know i didn't move my camera it's just me not putting things down right i guess <laughs> Nothing is yet set to stone. Okay, and then we have here. Work through your fears. This is a new moon in Scorpio. Yeah, there's, so there's stuff happening. And don't be fearful of it. It's what's supposed to happen. But see, going through the iron needle, that can't be that easy. But things are not set in stone. It's what you're going to see is just what's happening right now. Okay, let's see. So now we have 
The Three of Cloaks. Hmm. This is the Three of Swords. So, yeah, this is what's probably not set in stone. You might feel some pain, you might feel some hurt because of others not understanding you, but it's, it's not going to be forever. We do have the Tower. Yes. There's a major shakeup happening with what you're going through, with the transition you're going through. It's, um, it's much needed for you, but totally confusing to others because they're not the same level as you. You're more, you're a more advanced soul. Your, your energy is more advanced and the people that don't understand you aren't, you know, they're lower. They're, they're not supposed to be. It's like they could, they're not supposed to go on the journey you're supposed to go on. But, you know, you have to forgive them for just being, you know, naive or, or not aware. Okay, I'm not doing any of the extra, um, we didn't get any court cards, huh? Okay, I'm not doing the, um, the signs or the, the letters because this is just about you, not about anybody else. It's about your energy. It's just the fact that many others are helping you. I think it's more like you have maybe a certain person here with the lover helping you, a partner. But it also could be, you have a lot of guides. You have a lot of angels. You have a lot of uh, spiritual beings that are around you. That's why we started with the uh, galactic mushroom here too. Because something has opened up. And you have a lot of guides around you. So you are very well protected. But there's going to be a major change, a major shock. That when you get through your eye of the needle, the person that you come back as is totally different. So you're going to be vibrating at such a higher level, a higher intensity, that there's going to be a lot of things that no longer are going to jive with you and you're not going to be interested. Something that you thought you would never not be interested in will no, no longer be of interest to you, if that makes sense. Okay, guys, thank you so much. So, you know, I know this is going to resonate with a lot of you maybe not with all of you so if it feels a little too far-fetched well then maybe you're not ready for this and you know your guys will slowly take you through it when you are um, but if you're not ready they're not you know they know they know best and so um and if you need a personal reading below this um reading in the description box is an email address to shoot me an email in the email um subject line just put personal reading and i'll send you back the information and then you could um get a reading done or you could wait and for maybe a better time that maybe you don't need one right now but when you do at least you'll have the information and thank you so much for choosing me i mean you guys are amazing and keeping me busy thank you so much um i'm so grateful that you chose me i'm honored um and thank you for all your, your love and light um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, um, your donations, and for um, having given me the honor to do your personal readings. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.